The VA Mission Act Explained, brought to you by AMVETS. By now, many veterans have received a letter and brochure from the Department of Veterans Affairs outlining their entitlement to new health care options under the VA Mission Act. Specifically, eligible veterans will have expanded access to care in the community at VA expense. During this presentation, I will discuss the VA Mission Act, community care, and what it all means for veterans who are enrolled in the VA healthcare system and currently access healthcare at a VA medical center, community-based outpatient clinic, or a non-VA provider at VA expense. While this presentation will cover the VA Mission Act in a fair amount of detail, it will be impossible to answer every question. Those veterans, spouses, caregivers, and health providers viewing this presentation should write down any questions along the way and bring them to the live online Q&A sessions that ANVETS will host over the next several weeks. Let's start with a quick background on the VA Mission Act. President Donald Trump signed the bill, informally known as the VA Mission Act, into law on June 6, 2018. The law's formal title is the VA Maintaining Systems and Strengthening Integrated Outside Networks Act. Since the law's passage, the VA was directed to develop new criteria to allow eligible veterans to receive health care in the community. In other words, health care outside of a VA medical facility at VA expense. The purpose of the law is to help veterans get to a doctor faster and more conveniently, whether the doctor works at a VA medical center, a community urgent care center, or an office close to where the veteran lives. The new criteria and access standards for community care, which are based on wait times for VA appointments, the availability of VA care, and drive time to a VA medical center became effective on June 6, 2019. Let's now go into exactly what the new law would do for veterans. The VA Mission Act offers eligible veterans more healthcare options not previously available through the VA or the Veterans Choice Program. The VA Mission Act improves upon the Veterans Choice Program by replacing the confusing and inconsistent healthcare delivery and payment model with a new streamlined program. Those veterans who are receiving care through the Choice Program will continue to receive the same care with the same VA approved community provider under the VA Mission Act through improved author authorization, referral, scheduling, and payment processes. One question that many veterans will ask, will I be able to go to any community provider of my choosing? Here's the answer. If a veteran is eligible for community care as determined through processes to be later discussed, he or she will be able to receive care from a community provider who is part of the contracted VA network within what's called the Community Care Network, or CCN. Presently, the CCN is the TriWest Healthcare Alliance. This means TriWest providers who are authorized to provide care under the CHOICE Act are now authorized to provide community care under the VA Mission Act. There are presently about 3,000 authorized providers across the country in place to deliver care under the new law. This also means there are some places, such as rural areas in Montana, that do not have providers. Gaps also persist in areas where providers have opted out due to monies still owed for care under the CHOICE program. The VA is making a concerted effort to reach out to these providers with the hope of enlisting their services with a new and improved payment process. If a veteran encounters a provider who is not in the TriWest Healthcare Alliance but would like to join, those providers can apply through the TriWest website. 
complete rollout of six regions of the permanent community care network that will replace TriWest is expected by year 2020. Key features that veterans should look for in the new CCN model include expanded access to walk-in care in community urgent care centers, new eligibility for community care at VA expense, more scheduling options for eligible veterans, and technologies that streamline communication between veterans, doctors, and hospital administrators involved in coordinating care. On a side note, one of the most important goals of the new community care network model is better coordination and monitoring of opioid prescriptions across the country. As earlier mentioned, timely payment to community providers was a major problem under the old system for many reasons. As a result, many providers opted out of the choice program, leaving many veterans either stuck with medical debts for bills unpaid by the VA or without access to health care. The VA Mission Act changes the timelines for claim submissions and payments so that payments are more timely and veterans don't face breaks in continuity of care. One critical change in care coordination under the VA Mission Act involves making appointments for care in the community. In most instances, community care appointments will be scheduled directly by VA staff as each VA medical center establishes its community care network. In other instances, however, veterans will be able to schedule their own appointments. For example, the requirement for care to be authorized in advance by the VA does not apply to the urgent care or the walk-in care benefit that VA also established under the new law. These new urgent care standards will be covered later in the presentation. The graphic you see provides an overview of the steps in the process for accessing community care under the new law. We will go through each step. First, the veteran who needs health care can begin the process by phone, online, or in person at a VA medical facility. This can be an initial or follow-up appointment with a primary care physician, whether it's a VA doctor or doctor authorized by the VA, to provide care in the community at VA expense. It is here that the veteran and doctor together explore what care is needed. Once the need for care is determined between the veteran and doctor, the conversation will shift to how the care will be delivered based on the veteran's eligibility for community care, if community care provides the best path to meeting the need. The veteran then explores which providers in the community can best meet his or her need. Once medical need, eligibility for community care, and provider preference are determined, the VA and the veteran will schedule the appointment with the community provider. Some veterans will prefer to make the call, others will prefer to have the VA Medical Center coordinate the care. Spouses and caregivers of disabled veterans should also become familiar with the process and get involved when needed. VA staff, through the local VA Medical Center's Office of Community Care, will be responsible for sending any necessary medical records and documents to the community provider. The veteran will get the care that he or she needs. The treating community provider will submit a claim for payment directly to the VA. This is where the new claim filing requirements and payment standards that were earlier discussed come into play. The VA facility that authorized the care will review the claim, and the claim will be paid on behalf of the veteran who received the care under the VA Mission Act. 